I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. It is Saturday, January 13th, and it's a beautiful but cold day here in Nova Scotia. But I had to pop on and do this video because um, after sharing my Hills of Tuscany video with you all last night, I'm so excited you guys have been enjoying that video. My friend Elfie commented uh, that one of the cards that I did in that video reminded her of Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. And I thought, oh my goodness. I can use the house in the Hills of Tuscany stamp set to recreate a picture to look like the houses in Newfoundland. And if you've never seen the beautiful houses in Newfoundland, you need to Google it, especially if you type in Jelly Bean Road or Row, I can't quite remember which, um, you will see all the colorful um, houses, these gorgeous old houses that they have in Newfoundland. I love Newfoundland. I can't wait to go back and shout out to all my beautiful friends out there. So I am going to keep the camera rolling while I attempt to recreate a card uh, using the Hills of Tuscany stamp set and the inspiration for um, today's card again the beautiful homes in Newfoundland so let's start stamping so I would insert a photo of the houses uh, that I'm referring to but I don't want to take the chance I use a photo that's <laughs> gonna be you know copyright or anything like that so please do a Google, you will see what I'm talking about with these houses. So I am um, pulling in the colors I'm going to use on today's card, depending on how many houses I can get on one piece of paper. But I have Real Red, Misty Moonlight, Daffodil Delight, Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, and Cherry Cobbler. Now, I also sent my Serene Stampers team, my stamping community, um, a stamping challenge today using color combinations because I already had this in my mind so they could use all of these or at least three colors from from this um, assortment of colors and I sent them a card sketch but I've gone ahead and cut out my um, pieces of paper for the card sketch. So I'm going to use Highland Heather. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. I've pulled in some meandering um, Meadow Designer Series paper. This measures um, three and three quarters by five. Piece of basic white. This is two by four. Um, a scrap piece of the meandering Meadow DSP. This is one and a quarter by four. And then the circle on the card was about one and a half inch diameter, so I also used a scrap piece of DSP. Nothing goes to waste. So this is the piece that, uh, this 2x4, that's going to have my houses on it. So fortunately, it's a small house, so I think I can fit, hopefully, six houses on here. Alright, so I have my 2x4 piece of basic white, and if you look at the... Um, the houses in Newfoundland, a lot of them, especially the ones that I want to recreate, are three level. So this is a two level house. I want to make this a three level house. I'm going to start with my real red. And I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper underneath because I'm going to stamp off on the edge first. And I'm actually going to stamp this Oh, off the edge, don't forget, right there. And then I'm going to bring my post-it note, and I'm just going to line it up at the corner of that house. So I can line it up, and I am going to... That post-it note is going to come across the, the edge of this bottom roof, so underneath this top layer of windows. At least that's, that's the plan. what we get not too bad let's clean my stamp try it and I'm going to repeat that right across the paper so next up I'm going to use misty moonlight I'm actually going to line this up on the top corner stamp my blue house 
right next to it. And the houses are completely side by side when you see them in Newfoundland. Okay, I'm going to line this up on this corner and I got red ink on that house. It's all right. And line this up here, create my mask. It's always exciting when you take off the masking paper to see what you get. Ooh, it's coming together. Okay, I'm gonna clean my stamp. The next color I'm going to use is Daffodil Delight, which is right here. So again, I'm going to position this on the corner of this house. Make this up really well. goodness seriously if I have friends watching who have been to or do live in Newfoundland I bet you this is kind of exciting you a little bit because it's sure exciting me I know my friend is in Newfoundland I have all kinds of wonderful friends and I love Newfoundland I love Newfoundland so much I can't wait to go back their tourism site by the way they're um Newfoundland and Labrador tourism site is phenomenal. So be sure you check that out. It's got videos of uh, Newfoundland and uh, Labrador. It's got recipes. It's a great, great tourism site. Which, by the way, for those of you who don't know, that's actually my background is tourism and hospitality. Um, I love that industry. I love people. I love serving people. I love cooking for people. I love being a hostess. I love all, all things to do with tourism and hospitality. And uh, I loved working in that industry. All right, okay. Let's move this down. Not gonna be able to get all the colors in here that I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm very excited. Okay, last house. This one is going to be in, uh, oops, that goes down here. This one's going to be in balmy blue. And I'm actually gonna pull this one down just a little bit. Look at that, and we haven't even done the rooftops yet. This is so exciting. I do believe Stampin' Up! is gonna get a lot of sales from uh, <laughs> our maritime friends out here on the East Coast who are gonna be looking for this stamp set. All right, I am going to do the rooftops for all of these in basic gray. start on this side and I'm going to keep using the mask it's 
So I have a bit of a gap there. That's fine because I can use my blender pen to pull that in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, I am going to use, actually I need this back. I'm going to use my blender pen versus the basic gray marker just because it's a little bit lighter. I'm just going to fill in that gap. Just pull that in. If you don't have blender pens, my friends, they're they're a must-have. They're wonderful. You can do so much with them. And to clean them, you just go back and forth on your scrap paper. Now I want to add a road. So let's use what we have. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right. I know, I just throw my stamps in the stamp case really nilly. Okay, I, I'm gonna give this a whirl. No guarantees. I'm gonna stamp it right here. And, hmm. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Let's turn it this way. Not unusual to have cracks in the road here on the East Coast. Just sand. So I'm going to pick up my gray with my blender pen again and just pull some of that gray in. What color am I using? This is Smoky Slate. For the windows, I'm gonna, actually, I'm just gonna grab my black marker. Hang on. Moving on to glass number two. I mean, moving on to the next step. I want to add some sky, so, let me think about that. I think I'm going to use, um, hmm, what am I going to use? I'm going to use my stamp. I'm going to use Azure Afternoon because I enjoyed using this on my cards yesterday. So I'm just going to stamp randomly. I'm going to stamp this upside down and see how it's making my clouds for me. always good to have a mask. So I'm just going to use Azure Blue because that's what I have handy. And cut that out. And some of these background areas where I want some blue. Okay. Gonna do something, hopefully it doesn't muck it up. But I'm gonna take some of my white ink refill. I'm gonna squeeze it, or you saw me squeeze it on my um, clear block. I'm gonna take in my smallest water painter. And I mean, you could keep the, uh, the black windows as they are, but if you look online, 
at pictures, you can see they have the white crisscross in the windows. Now, my sweet, sweet, sweet friend who I love and adore so much, Kay Smith. Kay and Kevin live in Newfoundland. And, oops, I had gotten a really sweet Christmas tree ornament one year from them of one of these fun little houses. And it's um, a wooden house, it's painted, and on the ornament, the windows are black. This, just like this, this is exactly what it looks like. But I'm going to try, as if I were painting on, I'm gonna try adding the white. And I have way too much ink and water on here, but it is what it is. Okay, I want this to be really fine. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to sponge around the edges. I am going to use my Azure Afternoon. Now I'm going to use my Pebbled Path on the bottom. And I'll go along the sides as well. I'm putting my Designer Series paper onto my Highland Heather cardstock. Another new stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Quiet Reflection. I want to stamp your On My Mind. I'm going to sponge around the edges of this as well with the basic gray. Keep this card colorful. I am using Real Red Ribbon for my bow. Some of you have seen me do this type of bow before. It's actually kind of a knot, but it's so cool. So I'm bringing in my Stampin' Spritzer and I'm just tying a knot right on this. And whoops, I'm going to make that really tight. Whoops, <laughs> I have way too much ribbon, but I can save what I don't use for another card. Get my thumb out of the way. Okay, tie a knot really, really tight. Slide this off and then slice this on an angle. And all that's missing on this card are birds. Add some embellishments to finish it off. I decided I really want to move this over here just a little bit. Right more in the center of that tag. So there you have it. My Jelly Bean Row Newfoundland card. I cannot tell you how tickled I am with this card. How tickled I am. So many different ideas. Again, I always say that in my videos, but I get more and more ideas as I put it together. And I want to use this with a seaside background um, instead of the designer series paper. I want to use this with just a plain wood grain background. Um, I know I'm going to be making a lot of cards using this as a focal piece, and I can't wait to make more of these. So, Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and may your glass always be half full. Take care, and happy stamping.